day in Brooklyn and Roger and I are headed to Buffalo Exchange. I really want to refresh my spring wardrobe and bring you guys along. sleeping or just ignore me hello guys how's it going it's another day I am wearing the same shirt because I love it actually I'm very excited because I have a ton of stuff to show you guys but before I start I did want to mention a couple of things it'll be my last birth haul I think that I'm filming in this room before I move out because a lot has been happening and I wanted to catch you guys up in like a vlog or something. But anyway, today's video is in collaboration with Buffalo Exchange. I'm actually going to be doing a meet and greet with them or a sip and shop, I think is what they're calling it. I'm going to be meeting you guys at one of their stores in Chelsea and I'm also going to be curating a rack. There's going to be drinks and also the raffle giving away Buffalo Exchange gift card. So if you want to come and meet me and chat with me, that would be so much fun. I always love talking to you guys and y'all in person. Always it just really puts a smile in my heart. Got this big old bag filled to the brim with a bunch of thrifted stuff that I'm just, I'm very excited to show you guys. My closet cannot take it right now. It's pretty much imploding. So I do have to do a little bit of closet clean out soon. So let's just start off with the accessories because I actually picked up a ton this time. First one is this beautiful magical box and I actually saw this one a week before I got in but I had a bunch of bills to pay so I decided to just leave it up to fate so that day when Roger and I went filming I like was looking for it hoping that I could find it somewhere I thought somebody had already picked it up and then Roger saw it like all the way at the back at the top of his shelf if that's not fate talking then I don't know what it is it's got these hand painted flowers all over it it's just very quintessentially spring I also really love the white acrylic handle that it has it just makes it very funky and on the inside it has this very dainty pink lining kind of dusty in there so i will have to go in with a little bit of shout maybe and a towel and just kind of wipe it down i was actually thinking of using this as room decor because i love the structure that it has and i feel like it'd be really cute to put in maybe some plants or something uh, i don't know i just kind of want to get creative with it because i'm not quite sure if i would be able to actually like wear it out and about. It is vintage so it does have a couple scuffs here and there but I just feel like that gives it character. And then the next bag I have is this one with a nice wooden handle but I love the fabric that it has and the colors are just very warm and precious. The material itself is kind of like a very soft satiny type. I feel like it would just be a nice pop against something that's a little bit more neutral and subdued and I don't know I just think it's lovely. I don't have anything like this in my closet at the moment oh. and on the inside it says it's made out of Bermuda cedar. I left the tag in it but it costs 
ten dollars you guys might have seen this in my vlog but i did try on these really funky shades i don't know i just feel like they're very flattering on my face small frames on me just it doesn't look right so i really like these because they have like that big old grandma frame and i also really like that it's scalloped around it it's in this lilac color and it has a contrasting little tortoise shell leg is that what they call it? It's fun. It actually does protect my eyeballs somewhat from the sun. It had a label on it before, but I took it off. And these came out to $9.50. Recently, I've been getting into brooches. I don't know why. I've just been seeing them here and there on Pinterest and Instagram, specifically on like pea coats and stuff. And I happen to actually have an olive green one that I really love, but I just thought this would be really cute across the chest, just a little dragonfly. I love dragonflies. I think they're magical looking creatures. I picked this up for like $10, I believe. Also, another little accessory they picked up is this tiny succulent ring. At first, when I saw it, I didn't notice that it was a succulent. I thought it was a flower, but upon closer examination, I did see that it has like some painted like green color all over it. It's very detailed and raw looking. And because I do have quite chubby fingers, I actually have to wear it as a midi ring on my ring finger. I'm personally just a big fan of very whimsical looking accessories. I think it just adds something fun to my outfit. So I'm very excited about it. I also did end up picking up two separate black belts and I know what you're thinking. I went a little overboard, but you guys, I've been looking for a good black belt for so long and for some reason, I'm just very picky with my belts in general, which I think is a good thing. It means that I'll actually get, you know, good wear out of it. But yeah, in all these years, I've just never found any that spoke to me. But on that day, I happened to find two different ones that I really liked. This one has a silver buckle to it, so whenever I wear silver jewelry or I want one that's a little bit chunkier, I can just pop this one on. But this one right here, has a brass buckle it's more square Just two good old simple belts can't go wrong with that <laughs> alrighty then so now i actually want to start digging into the clothes first one is just this adorable baby yellow top. It has this gorgeous embroidery along the collar and also here on the pocket. But my favorite part about it is that it has these pop sleeves. It's very dainty and feminine and prairie looking. I love when pieces make you feel like you're in a different time and place and you just kind of feel like a different character for that moment. I wanted to show you guys this top I got at Opal Vintage, which is a little bit more on the higher price point, but I will say that they do have a nice selection. I just got this darling little baby blue gingham top. It has a strawberry embroidery all over it. It's very kitschy, but you guys know that's just like right up my alley. The brand's called AS Club Blues never heard of it. I love the way it fits and I kind of just like add a little bow tie at the front and yeah I just think it's really cute. A great addition to the summertime. I have a sweater. <laughs> yeah, it's way too warm to be purchasing sweaters but I just I could not leave this behind. I thought it was just adorable. There's just this guilty pleasure in me when I get something that was originally fast fashion at a secondhand store because it just means that I was able to repurpose in a way something that probably was would have ended up in a landfill had this person not gone to Buffalo Exchange and dropped it off. But this top that I found happens to be from Zara. The sad part about this is that it originally came with all the new tags on it. Anyway, I love the color. It's kind of throwing off into a detergent periwinkle blue color and it's very soft. And yes, it is a turtleneck. Also an ongoing theme, the puff sleeves. I can't get enough of them. They're a lot more smooth here and then it kind of goes down into this ribbing. I believe it was like $23 or so and yeah. It's just really adorable. I have been just like on the hunt for the perfect pair of white cream trousers for the longest time. You guys know my struggle with pants. It's so hard, especially when you have a very curvy figure to get a pair of pants that has the right proportion. These pants just fit me like a glove. Every time I find a pair of pants that fits me well, it's like I've accomplished something. It's it's a very rare occasion, okay? But anyway, these pants right here are these cream trousers with these darts here at the front, very nicely tailored. But I saw these two together and I just felt so fancy in this outfit because I never really wear like very nice white trousers. I feel like these would be a perfect addition for my spring and summer wardrobe because they just have a nice movement to them. They're very airy and fresh and I feel like they would be really cute with a pair of western looking boots. You guys know I've already have quite a collection of overalls now because they're just 
They're a great go-to, especially when you're feeling lazy or you just have a lot of running around to do. Roger actually ended up finding these for me in the men's section at the Buffalo Exchange. And they're just these adorable Pooh Bear overalls. It's got a little peek poo right here, looking through the pocket, and his embroidered name on it. It reminds me of like a bootleg Calvin Klein branding with a poo on the straps. Definitely is very loose fitting on me, but I like that. I love overalls that are kind of just slouchy and easy to wear. As always, I'm not a big fan of very fitted things in general. These came out to only $15, which is amazing. I had to grab these just to show you guys because the other day I went to um, Flamingo's Vintage, which happens to supposedly be a more affordable thrift store. And I happened to stumble upon these Eeyore overalls with this like little dragonfly embroidery all over it. It even has an Eeyore here in the back. And sadly, they don't fit me, so I decided to hold these off for a store that I really wanted to start out. So if you wanna like buy these at all, just follow me on my Depop or my Instagram. Look how cute it is. And then also it has like these little flowers here at the bottom. But I did get pretty lucky with Roger finding these Pooh Bear ones at the Buffalo Exchange, so very stoked about that. I also found these shorts from The Gap. They are actually kind of long, so I might go back in and hem them like an inch or two because I feel like they are like right by my knee. It kind of makes my legs look stumpy and I'm five foot seven, so that's just not a fun look. They're not my size, but I do want to go in with a belt and kind of cinch it in around my waist and have it work with my body just because I love the whole paper bag short look. I think it's just a fun way of wearing pants for the summertime in general. I don't know, maybe it's not in style, but I've always been really into it and I feel like it'd be really cute to wear with a t-shirt or even the shirt that I'm wearing right now. But I really like this minty khaki green color that it has. I also got myself a jumpsuit because I'm a big fan of wearing lesser clothes in the summertime. The less pieces of clothing that I have to slip into just the better. So I found this polka dot jumpsuit. I don't really wear brown often, but I feel like this is a nice flattering reddish brown color. I love the little shirring that it has here up the sleeves. You can just kind of swish around in them and feel very effortless. And I, I really like these. I would definitely style these with a pair of booties just to kind of structure my outfit just a little bit and look nice and put together. And lastly, I have my wild card. I was literally standing in the fitting room for a good 10 to 15 minutes just thinking about whether or not I should get it because I feel like one it's super just not the most flattering shape to put onto your body it's a moo moo it has all these tiny little dainty flowers all over it which you can't really tell unless you go really close up. I love the pop of red that it has against this nice vibrant blue color and it's slightly faded which gives it a really nice vintage touch but one of my favorite parts about it is that it has this crisscross detailing here and this eyelet fabric but the sleeves are super unflattering just like puff out every which way and it just does not look good. I feel like just adding in a little bit of ribbon or some sort of tie or something would be just an easy fix. I don't even have to tailor the actual sleeve. I want to show you one more thing before I end this haul because although it's not thrifted, I don't show you guys enough shoes in general. Calvin Klein reached out to collaborate in their festival collection and since I don't have a lot of shoes, I thought I would pick these really cool western looking booties up. Naturally, I just really wanted to get myself a fun colored pair of shoes. I feel like it would be such a cute little contrast to have with like any sort of bright color that I have in my wardrobe in general. I also have a slight heel on them and they're just so, so comfortable which is great because I never wear heels. Hello, loves, that's everything. But thank you so much if you made it to this video. And thanks to everyone that was just so nice about my hair change. I definitely feel a lot more like myself right now. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a little like for me and turn on bell notifications for whenever I post a video so you don't miss out. That's it. I hope you're having a lovely, wonderful, beautiful day wherever you may be. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.